If you can't tell, I just woke up. Recently, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I posted my progress for last week's build. What I've been working on, something that uses a feature called a B-spline. A B-spline is a technique, a tool, a method, whatever you want to call it in CAD design that you can use to create certain curves. It's a little confusing for beginners and I want to show you why I like it so much. And the design that I used for this is something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to learn how to do retention clips and stuff like that. There's a lot of useful things that you can make that use retention clips. That's pretty much what my recent universal VR holster design is. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It'll fit pretty much any VR controller that has a ring on it and if you don't know what I'm talking about go look at my previous YouTube shorts and my Instagram by the way I'm on TikTok guys I think everybody's wrong about TikTok people said Facebook was going away no it's not it is not no it is not all right so here's the final product concept of last week so this is my little design for a horizontal mag pouch okay this is totally airsoft it's totally fake the retentions that I designed are on the sides here and at the top. And you'll notice it's a very similar design. And noticing right now, it's a little too thin at the top. And that's okay. This is just a concept. We can always change our design and we can always reprint it. It's not a big deal. All right. So let me show you how to do this real quick. So I have a part, a body, and now I'm going to do a sketch. Okay, select the XY plane or whatever plane you want, XY. It's just like whatever you're going to be looking down on. Uh, just think of this as your table, your desk that you're drawing on. All right, so real quick, we're just going to go up to here to this tool. It says B-spline. And basically, if you look in my original document, files. Okay, so if you go to the original sketch here, you'll see where my B-spline is right here. All right, these are, you know, this is a line. And then I had uh, corners and I turned them into fillets with this right here. And then I attached my B-spline here. So I had a point there, point here, and then I had another point uh, up there, I believe. So, okay, so going back to my uh, other document. So the way I did that was, so we're gonna go into the sketch and we're going to create a B-spline. And there's two different kinds that it has in here. This is uh, B-spline by control points. And you'll see what that means in a second here. Um, let me just say, I'm not gonna anchor it to any axis here. I'm just gonna put it right here in free space. And I'm just gonna do like that. And I'm gonna escape, escape. Okay, so there's our little B spline. Isn't that cute, All right? And we're going to uh, basically do the same thing on the other side. Like that. Escape, escape, and here you go. And what you could do is you can add constraints to that. And what I did to cap off the top was I added a little a little semicircle here, and you can do it with. Um, I wouldn't. This is a complete circle. What you want to do is go into uh, this one right here. Is create an arc. This is going to be my center point down here, and then I'm going to carefully click on that, and then click on that. And you see how it does that? Okay. So that's our very crude shape. And what you do is you go in and you can um, uh, fine tune it. You know, you can make it better. You can do a fillet right there and a fillet right there. And that kind of smooths it out. Um, it does make it a little more complex to work with, but you can see it now we have a Vienna sausage. <clears throat> All right. So now that we have our Vienna sausage, we can go ahead and see the uh the top part of that design for that retention that i had on the top of my horizontal uh glock 19 uh mag pouch idea and for the rest of the sketch i actually did this part last when i did my uh my actual you know design for this this, this was you know the most complicated part so i saved it for last and then you can see here what i did was i mirrored it I only did half of the sketch. So you can do half the work and then you mirror it to the other side and it makes your life a lot easier. Um, it's just something you have to get used to and you will. So that's that, that's a beast spline, all right? And you can see all kinds of stuff that you can do with the beast spline, all right? You can make all kinds of silly shapes. Woo, all right? So have fun with that and make something, uh, make like a little splat design, you know, like a, 
if you squished a little slime on a table and uh, you know close it out and then um, so if you see here if I close this one out all right and what if we uh, get rid of this so this is all closed out and if I close the sketch I don't have any constraints and that's okay if I give it a bot if I if I pad it you can see there it is right there that's how I got those two points of retention designed on this concept. All right, so that's a real world example of a B-spline in action. These two retention points successfully create the retention that I needed for this concept. And what I'm gonna do next is continue to use the B-spline concept to create a, a back that I can clip onto my belt and then I'll go play with it at the range. And if you wanna to continue to see the kinds of stuff that I come up with, here is a dirty coaster design. I created an awesome 3D emoji coaster pack and it has non-slip pads on the bottom. And it really works great, looks great. Um, go check it out, it's on Etsy. You can get a printed copy if you want. And you can also get it on my website. And sometimes the prices on my website are cheaper. It's roboticsforbeginners.com. Someday we're gonna make robotics, but for now, we're just gonna be taking some baby steps. I will be including Raspberry Pico and Raspberry Pi videos. I feel like I'm at a point where I can create shapes in, in CAD to get what I need. You don't have to be the best at it. Just keep building stuff and make functional stuff that you wanna see that you that you want to use or stuff that breaks around the house that's what it's really useful for and i think the future of these 3d printers is going to be you're going to have it in the house it's just like a microwave and there's going to be a like a display on the unit it'll be an all-enclosed thing and it'll be able to self-clean or whatever the nozzles and stuff and you'll be able to select from a menu of certain concept products that you need in your house and you'll be able to alter the dimensions very easily. It'll have slide scales and stuff. Somebody's gonna make it. That's just gonna happen. And it might be metal, it might be plastic. Maybe it'll be a combination of all of the above. But that's where it's going. I think that's the future. It might take, you know, a decade or two to get there, but it's really exciting. And that's why even if you don't have a 3D printer, you can still start designing stuff and you can enter the market and try to sell your designs. I recommend Colts 3D. That's where all of the 3D printing people are uploading their stuff. There's other sites as well. Um, just go wherever the opportunity is and where the eyes are. And if you're trying to make actual products and sell them to people, well, good luck because who wants to buy 3D printed trash? So if you like this video, if it was helpful, give me a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, tell your grandmother how amazing my hair is, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh -huh.